Hello, I'm Dr. Herman, and welcome back for another great informative video here about your chronic health condition. And what I'm going to share with you in this video is about this bacteria called Yersinia enterolytica. And it can lead to intestinal problems causing Crohn's disease and other inflammatory intestinal disorders. Every chronic inflammatory autoimmune disease that I've seen has a leaky gut, whether it's multiple sclerosis, fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, uh, hypothyroidism, or I should say Graves' disease, or Hashimoto's, or psoriasis, lupus. So Yersinia enterolytica bacteria can lead to intestinal problems like Crohn's disease and other inflammatory intestinal disorders. I'm going to read some different terms here for you, so please sit back and listen. I'll make it slow here. Yersinia enterolytica is a species of a gram-negative shaped bacteria belonging to the family, that's a big word here, we don't have to worry about that. Yersinia enterolytica infection causes the disease known as yersiniosis, which is a zoonotic disease occurring in humans as well as a wide array of animals such as cattle, deer, pigs, and birds. Birds can be turkey and chicken and ducks, depending on what kind of bird you eat. Many of these animals recover from the disease and become asymptomatic carriers. You understand what that means? So you, possibly, or what you're eating, can carry this, get over the symptoms, and then carry it and be able to transmit it to you without you even realizing that that, that, that uh, animal was sick. And you too, passing it on to a loved one, or maybe mother to infant. Lymph nodes can be affected, causing lymphadenopathy. That means the lymph nodes are diseased, they're malfunctioning, they're swollen. This condition can be confused with appendicitis and is therefore called pseudoappendicitis. In immunosuppressed individuals, the Yersinia can disseminate, can move from the intestines to the liver and spleen and form abscesses in the liver and spleen. That means then your liver can't possibly filter your blood properly, your blood, and then it can carry this infection to anywhere in the body, and the brain included. Yersinia are usually transmitted to humans by insufficiently cooked pork or contaminated water. It may contribute to the development of thyroid autoimmune disease, uh -huh, arising from other reasons in genetically susceptible individuals. So, Yes, somebody may have that gene, as people always say, well, uh, maybe I'm genetic because my mother had it. Well, maybe this infection, maybe, maybe not, but maybe this infection got into your system and flipped that genetic switch on, and now you have this autoimmune thyroid disease called Hashimoto's or Graves' disease. And they can't possibly manage you properly, effectively, at an optimal level to make you function normally by just giving you a thyroid hormone. Yersinia enterolytica infections are sometimes followed by chronic inflammatory diseases such as arthritis. So what does that mean? That this infection can cause inflammation that leads to arthritis. It doesn't have to be rheumatoid arthritis, it can be. It could be the regular degenerative joint disease that people commonly find as an ailment that they get as they get older. Whether it's my spine is arthritic or my fingers or my hip or my back or my, my knees, maybe, just maybe, you have this infection inside and no doctor has done a thorough enough test on you to figure out do you have this or not. As you're watching all these videos, you may begin to understand and embrace the fact that we've got to use a unique whole body approach to figure out why you're suffering from, what you're suffering from, so that way we know how to get rid of the cause. Instead of fighting the disease, instead of fighting your condition, we want to get rid of the underlying causes of the condition and let the condition just disappear from the body and you can feel better. Thank you for letting me share this excellent information with you and I look forward to sharing more information with you on all the upcoming videos.